Well, good morning. Morning. From a sunny Northamptonshire. It's not quite as warm as Italy, but it's sun's out and it's lovely, isn't it? It is, and I'm quite grateful that it's not as hot as Italy, to be fair. <laughs> so in this, our final vlog in this series, we're just going to cover our final sea day. Also, the morning we had in Valletta before we flew home back to the UK. We're also going to give our overall thoughts on the cruise and the ship experience as well. Mm. So the final sea day was a really slobby day, wasn't it? It was very slobby, yeah, which I think we needed. We don't, because yeah. it's been a full on week, yeah. you know, we've pretty much had four days back to back excursions, yeah. um, long days, all of that. And then, although I did wake up for the sunrise, I soon found myself back with my head on the pillow and snoring away like a, you know, like a crazy man, basically, at the end of the day. And it was a, a very, well, we had a lie in, didn't we? We did, yeah. We, I, th I think we both got up quite early and had a little look. Um, when I had a little look, I, I, it wasn't actually the sunrise, but it was quite close after, yeah. and you'd gone back off to sleep. I had a little look out there. It's oh, so beautiful. You can't well, not, can you? And we've really made the yeah. most of our balcony cabin. That was such an inspiring Definitely. booking. Um, you know, it didn't cost a lot extra than an inside cabin, which we normally go for, and we really enjoyed it. That was really, really good. Um, so it was a late, late rise up for a bit of breakfast. Um, mm. We went and said thank you to Peter, our amazing cabbage steward. He, yeah. he was Great, it was, brilliant, it was really me? good, yeah. um, and then a bit more reading. In fact, I finished my book, I'm really pleased about that. Um, but I'm still going on mine. <laughs> yeah, so you got up late, had a late breakfast, then as soon as you realize it's lunchtime, so you had a bit of lunch as well. It was one of those days where your belly is going, What are you doing to me? <laughs> um, I'm thinking, I've really, really just finished breakfast. <laughs> But, if you're on a diet, don't go on a cruise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We walked around the ship a few times. There was loads going on. Again, it was really rammed and really packed. There was live yeah. shows, quizzes, all that sort of stuff going on. Deck games, all the usual stuff yeah. going on. But it was really, really packed and really busy. And if you fancy the dip in one of the pools, well, good luck to you, you know, at the end. Of the yeah, you're not going to get into that, are no, you? No, <laughs> it, was, it was really, really, uh, really busy. And that, the whole week, it was actually rammed, yeah. wasn't it? But... You know, that said, we enjoyed our balcony, we finished our books and stuff, and then before we knew it, we are time to uh, pack our cases in the evening, and um, then we got ourselves packed, and we had to put our, put our cases outside the cabin by 2 a.m. in the morning, so that was quite good. Yeah. So it meant you could actually do your final packing quite late after you've had your evening on board, which was good. Yeah, you can wear something smart, couldn't you, for the, because um, we, we decided we were going to go to the main dining room, so we yeah. needed to be a bit smarter, didn't a little we? Bit, yeah. Yeah, so you can then quickly pack that away and then get your suitcases out, so. So um, mm. in the evening, we went back up to the Planet Bar, enjoyed some Wines and cocktails up there. there. You've been on them passion yeah. fruit martinis all weekend. Yeah, I love those. Mm. <laughs> I've discovered the good wines on board. The wines were excellent this weekend. <laughs> um, and then we went and had our main dining room. Which yeah. is a, we had a late second sitting, which basically meant you didn't start eating till nine. No, so we hadn't been in there at all because it's, that's too late for us. Yeah. Nine, really, especially not, uh, getting up early in the morning. Yeah, nine o'clock meal yeah. sits heavy on you all night. And, yeah. Um, we just don't get the best night's sleep. And if you've got up early up in the morning, you don't yeah. want to be. You want to be as fresh as you can, really, don't you? Yeah. So, um, so that was, but with the meal, said the food was very good. And then at the end of the meal, cause it was a good meal, wouldn't it? Had some good company. It was well. a really nice, yeah. The people next to us were really nice and chatty, yeah. weren't they? And then they did the parade of all the chefs and the waiters and things, and we all said thank you. That to was them. lovely. That was, yeah. that was quite nice. Yeah. Wasn't it? So, um, yeah, so we all clapped to them and that. Didn't and we? that was that. Mm. Of course, there was only one thing missing from the week, wasn't there? And that was uh, you hadn't done, which is your favourite thing to do on a cruise silent disco. Oh, dear. <laughs> Of course, by that time we'd um, we'd had a good skinful by then, and you were in full. Swing. But it wasn't just us, was it? To be no, fair. everyone was really, really yeah. having great fun, weren't they? <laughs> there were lots of youngsters and kids on the cruise as well, yeah. and they were really participating. And there was that one laddie that was kind of like leading <laughs> a load of teenagers, wasn't he? And doing the conga he around the pool. And he, was... he was doing such a brilliant dance, and he was yeah. like kept on going, didn't he? And then the others, the other side of the pool, were actually copying his yeah. moves, weren't they? YMCA yeah. and all that kind of. <laughs> It was a bit crazy, but yeah. nice to see everybody having yeah. fun. And that was it, cruise done then, because yeah. you know we were flying home the following morning. But what we did realise, though, in the following morning, that we'd get a few hours in Valletta, and I was really pleased we did. Yes, because we were thinking, do, do we get off, do we? And because we were sort of leaving sort of um, later, we thought, no, we've got time. Yeah, so the timings of the flight meant yeah. that if we were up early, we could get off, have about three hours in Valletta in the morning. So we did that, didn't we? Yeah. So we got off. And then we walked into Valletta. We got one of those brilliant maps that yeah. they, they give free, don't they? Yeah, just as mm. you're walking out the cruise terminal, there's a little yeah. stand with walking maps, and there are effectively yeah. two walking routes. One is kind of like a walk of the outside of the city walls, and the other one's a sort of a walk through the city centre. 
last time we kind of did a bit of both, didn't we? And yeah. we did again this time, I guess, didn't we? we yeah. But we tried to take in some of the things that we hadn't seen our, our last time in Valletta. That's it, yeah. And also, we're, we're coming back, things. aren't we, soon as well to Valletta? We are, yeah. yeah so, and in about six weeks' time or something, yeah, isn't so it? Yeah, <laughs> so it's also a good chance for us to spot yeah. things we wanted to do when we come back yeah. in a few weeks' time. So. Um, so, but we yeah. did see some good. We went to that fantastic fountain, didn't we? The Triton fountain. That was amazing. That's really nice. I tell you what, my favourite thing was it was that market, that food market we found. The street food market. Yeah, that was brilliant. That, that we was... didn't see that last time, did we? No. And we found it, so it's somewhere to go back and eat when when we're there in um, in six weeks time. <laughs> well, we, we got some cheap yeah. lemonade, didn't we? Oh, that lemonade uh, was homemade absolutely lemonade. homemade lemonade, which fantastic. is basically a bit like what we had outside of Pompeii. Um, which was the icy, but it was like half the price, wasn't it? Was it was half the price. <laughs> Didn't feel robbed. No. Didn't feel robbed. And it was absolutely, it was more tasty, wasn't it? It was actually? really good, really yeah. good. Um, we yeah. went to the Independent Square outside the Prime Minister's house, some lovely yeah. views. We did go to um, John de Vallette Square as was well. Was that where we statue. saw the, um, that bit that you just said? Was that the bit where, where we saw the flag going around? Oh, yeah, we saw the flag going yeah. around. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Yeah. It was good to see that. Mm. And then we went to the lower Baraka Gardens. So most people go to the mm. upper Baraka Gardens where they have the solution battery and they fire the cannons and stuff. But yeah, because you went there last time, didn't we, that Yeah, bit? that's mm. gorgeous. Yeah, um, it's nice. We went to the lower Baraka Gardens, yeah. which are much fewer people in it. Yeah. The but views across as, the harbour. Just as gorgeous, wow. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, really, really, really nice. good. I mean, Valletta is just this network of crisscross medieval streets. There's something everywhere. You it look. is absolutely. Stunning. And the, the colour of the stone as well is yeah. amazing. And you can see why it's used in so many movies. It just sweats mm. history, doesn't it? It's, well. Yeah, <laughs> it just gorgeous. Does. It's a fantastic yeah. place. I'm really looking forward to going back yeah. there in six weeks' time. So we'll do some more vlogs on that, of course. Mm. Um, but uh, so that, but three hours just whistled past. Didn't it? So, it did, um, yeah. We did do a little bit of shopping before to put some snacks for the flight. Snacks we flight, did, yeah. Yes. So, um, mm. And then, uh, and then we made our way back aboard the ship, and then yeah. we waited to be transferred to the airport. But the airport experience was a little bit chaotic, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was well, when we were there last time, there was a big queue, wasn't there? Because yeah. all, all the um, technical stuff had gone down, hadn't it? Last this time, time. <laughs> I think it's fair to say the piano left it a little bit tight for time. They did, um, yeah. Because there were lots of people trying to check in luggage and all that kind mm. of stuff. Because the flight that we were on. You did have to check in your luggage at, uh, at Valletta Airport and Malta Airport, whereas some of the other flights, like the TUI flights that were taking passengers out to the ship, uh, kind of bonded luggage. So that was all dealt with for you. So mm. you could just whittle through um, yeah. you know, security and that. But on our flight, there were a couple of flights that you had to go and check in your, your suitcases and stuff. And we were one of those. Um, yeah. And they didn't really leave enough time to do that it was very we, tight and there were yeah. a lot of people quite anxious that they were going to miss the flight weren't they there was and the line that we had actually picked was the slowest line typical isn't it <laughs> you can see all the other lines going past going past and then then this lady came in and she said oh are you on on the one to heathrow and these people behind us a few few bits behind us um said yeah yeah oh come to the front then come over over to this one so they went past us and we're still waiting there it wasn't just and us there was a few there was yeah, a few people that were getting a little bit agitated and mm. stuff you just have to soak it up and, and just say at the end of the yeah. day, we got on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we got, got home, there. didn't we're we, home. at the end of the yeah. day? So. And we got home yeah. our bags as well, so that, that yeah. was good. So, um, yeah, but that I mean, that, that was fine, yeah. and we're back home. And, and overall, I think it's, you know, we had a really good week, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah. Just to, um, just to mention, the flight was a bit bit um, sort of rocky, wasn't it? A lot of turbulence on the flight, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't help the weather, though, didn't you, so. no, no, but it was a bit like, a few times it was a bit like, ooh. <laughs> But overall, we've had a really but, good yeah, week, haven't we? You know? Really good I mean, week. The weather of... was brilliant, wasn't it? Oh, the weather. But a little bit too hot at times, yeah. but, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, the, it, it was really a, good. It was, you know, high 30s mm. all week. Yeah. Um, and if you like to explore on foot, that's quite punishing. Yeah. Um, it is quite punishing. We did find it a bit punishing, didn't we? We yeah, did, there. yeah. Um, but, but, you know, the, the cities themselves. But what are, we saw... Yeah. And things. It was amazing. Really good. Um, we had, we saw some nice things, you know, like the, the fireworks at the beginning of the, the holiday in, from Valletta when we were on the ship and they had fireworks, didn't they? Because they were a bit late leaving and we got to see those. That was really interesting, wasn't it? Pizza and, and Florence were gorgeous, weren't they? Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, they were. I mean, it was yeah. very rushed, but, but really gorgeous. You think, oh, yeah, could do with a bit more time there. But wow, yeah. lovely places. But at least we got to see. Yeah, and, what was a lovely surprise, wasn't it? Calvi in Corsica. That was gorgeous. Absolutely. That was absolutely stunning. Yeah, um, really nice. 
It's France, technically, um, but um, yeah. but really, really pretty. I think. Oh gosh, really? why don't we know about this place? This is really, yeah. really gorgeous. Um, you know, uh, Rome. We kind of glad we did it via the, the excursion. We could have done it on our own, but we're kind of glad we did it on the excursion. It took one less stress out of uh, that. Yeah, out of organising, you know, your days and stuff. The thing that that. that... In Naples, though, when we did Naples, mm -hmm. we de then realised why we don't do walking tours, you know, oh, yeah. because we did the walking tour and it was a bit, well, it was hard, wasn't it? Because half the time you couldn't understand what the lady was saying. We couldn't hear her. No. The radio work, but, no. Um, but, uh, and it, I think and that was the our Pompeii least... bit was a bit rushed, wasn't yeah. it? We could have spent more time there, would have been good. And... I mean, the whole week was rushed, but Naples yeah. and Pompeii were very rushed. Mm. And I think that was our least successful day, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, but we did see some lovely things yeah. and um you know and it was interesting yeah. what 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 we heard from we, we could hear the lady when we were in pompeii but when we had the big group we really didn't hear a lot did we i think the, the worry is mm. are you going to get back to the ship and stuff like that and i yeah. think you know rome and civitavecchia i mean th there are well established routes for doing rome without doing the excursion lots yeah. of people did it and we wish we kind of done it ourselves, although the the tour yeah. did, the tour did take some of the stress out of that for us. Yeah, you just don't know, do you? You just don't want to be the people that yeah. don't get back and have to try and get to the next destination, do you? I didn't you actually feel too bad about doing that excursion there because yeah. it was actually quite well organised and well run. Whereas I think the the Naples one, I probably wished I'd done the homework a little bit well and organised our yeah. own trip to Pompeii. Yeah. yeah, that would have been a lot easier and we would have saved a lot of money on that one. One would have saved a lot yeah. of money and we'd have had more time in That's Pompeii, right, which yeah. was real, absolutely spellbinding yeah. place, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, in terms of the ship, it's our second time on Azura and it was much like our first time on Azura, wasn't it, really? <laughs> um, not yeah. There's a bit of consistency there. I mean, there were some changes and stuff. It was a lot busier for starters, wasn't a it? A lot busier. The, um, the food was a lot better, I think. The food was better food, this time, yeah. around, which was good. Um, yeah. They haven't changed the way that they do the buffet, though. They still don't always open it all up. When... I mean, the ship was full, and yeah. it, you know, there's more than one buffet area, but they wouldn't open them all, you know. No, you know, and well... considering a lot of people have got children on there, the buffet is quite a good place for when you've got kid, kids, really, isn't it? So and Sometimes if you just don't want to do the main dining room, the buffet is mm. just what you need at the end of the day. But, um, and it, I mean, it's, it's fine. And the food, actually, what we had was actually quite good. It was nice, yeah. yeah. It was actually quite good. Yeah. And when we had the main dining room, that was also really good. Yeah. The speciality dining room, we only did the glass house restaurant. That was time, amazing. But yeah. that was very, very good mm, and very really reasonable, we thought. Mm. Um, the yeah. entertainment was a little bit hit and miss again. So yeah. It was last time and it was this time as yeah, well. Yeah, they're a little bit different. They're not so much, they, they do have the headline theatre group, but they don't, um, they're not on very often, are they? There's not a lot of Broadway no. style shows, are there? No, not really. and I like that. It's very music heavy mm. entertainment sort of uh, agenda for the week. Um, and the music acts were a little bit, they were okay, they were a bit so so. There wasn't anything I thought that was outstanding in terms yeah. of. Um, in terms and the, of the and the comedy, the comedy was good. I enjoyed the comedy. Yeah, he was a bit of a highlight. Mm. He was quite funny. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, so and other than that, yeah. I mean, the staff on Azura. Uh, like last time, we were really friendly and yeah. happy and helpful and stuff, and yeah. you know, we had no issues with that. And it was nice to hear the captain uh, making lots of jokes and stuff, but you also saw him out and about Yeah, as well. and, and he'd was, say hello to you, wouldn't he? That was yeah, really, that really, was really nice. Good. That was really good yeah. as well. So, but overall, mm. a very enjoyable cruise, and would yeah. we recommend... Uh, you know, as you're going to Italy, I think we probably would. Yeah. I don't think we can say we've done it today. We've just basically got a no, you know, no, a, a we've taster. got a lot more to do. We've, um, but we've seen enough to know yeah. that we need to go back and have a proper go. And it is sort of. I think Italy is a place. If you really want to enjoy it, it's a place that you go back for a few days, maybe a long weekend oh, yeah. or or something like that, really, because a cruise is just it's too short, really, to enjoy it. It's too short. You can yeah. spend a week in Rome alone, can you? You could, yeah. Day, you know. um, yeah. But I, I don't think Rome's ever done, is it? There's so much for Rome to see. We didn't throw three coins in the trophy fountain because we couldn't get close enough, unfortunately. <laughs> no. I mean, I, I, honestly, I'd no, be you just couldn't. bowling for the England cricket team if I could do that. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it, it, yeah. it was a really good week, so we definitely recommend yeah. it, uh, but only to get a taste there. And then if you'd like Italy, then you know, go back and go do back, it in yeah. a bit more detail. That's okay. our 
part of our planet and got more holidays to plan now. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, look, thank you for joining us on this vlog yeah, thank series. Thank you so much. We hope you've enjoyed our ramblings and stuff. <laughs> Please do come and join us for our return to Valletta in a few weeks' time. And, uh, you know, we'll look forward to seeing See you See if he there. finds anything more. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I wonder who found your cruise ducks, by the way. Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. if you found one of our cruise ducks, yeah. Nessie's cruise ducks, because she's the cruise ducker. Um, well, just it's just new to me, actually, isn't it? But, yeah, if you found yeah. one of our cruise ducks, do reach out to us and let us know. And, yeah. And, uh, you know, drop a comment in the in the vlog below and, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, let us know that you found one of our ducks. It'd be nice to know that some, they've gone to a good home. Yeah. Okay, well, look, thanks for joining us. Take care. <laughs> All right, take care. Bye. Bye. Found this video helpful or have any comments to make about its content, please do so in the comments box below. If you really, really like it, why not hit like? And if you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe. It really would mean a lot to us. Thank you.